from the gas tax debate to abortion to other issues in the South Carolina House of Representatives, Representative Lynn Bennett sits down with me one-on-one -on -one for this edition of Quentin's Close-Ups. Representative Bennett. Good to see you, Quentin. Well, I'm glad to be here. Yes, indeed. We talk to each other all the time on Facebook. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, it's we do. So and nice. I enjoy conversations with you. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> Thank you. Same here. And here we sit, you know, in downtown Charleston. And I know that you actually spoke with a couple of fifth graders at BTL Elementary Schools today. I did. They were adorable. Um, it was their career day today, and they asked me to come in and talk about being a legislator. And I explained I'm a pretty brand new one, yes. but gave them some ideas if they ever wanted to be a legislator when they grow up of how to become one and what to expect when they get to the Capitol. Mm. You talk about brand new. What has it been like for you as Lynn Bennett, the state representative, so far? Fun. I'm having fun. I'm learning a lot. I mean, it's like drinking from a fire hose. There's a lot to learn about the rules and how things happen up there. Yes. Um, but it's been fun. It's been an interesting learning process. And I'm not complaining about it mm. yet. <laughs> mm. Speaking of issues, let me turn to the abortion. Uh, the, this press release was sent out after the passage on anti-abortion. The headline reads, quote, South Carolina House Majority Praises Passage of Anti-Dismembering Abortion Legislation. You later said this on Facebook, to God be the glory, great things he had done. What other things do you want to accomplish as far as really getting rid of abortion? I, I'm a realist. I realize that abortion is the law of the land. I don't think we're going to ever get rid of it in my lifetime. Um, even if Roe v. Wade is overturned, right. abortion is still legal in states. Mm. States can make that decision. It doesn't ever ban abortion. Um, states could individually if they wanted to. The way we're going to stop this, this horrible practice is changing hearts and minds. And science is on our side. Before, people didn't think these were real living human beings. But now science has shown us that this is, boy, within a matter of weeks, you can see arms and legs. And the minute it's conceived, it has its own separate blood type, its own separate DNA. It is not the same as its mother's. It's an individual separate from its mother. The only thing that it needs is nine months to, to grow inside her womb and then it grows outside of her womb. So I just figure as more and more people know the facts like this, people knew nothing about d and right. um, And I can't stop d and mm -hmm. but I can try to reduce the pain that I know a child will feel. Um, they can, there's science that shows they can feel pain after 11 weeks. This is a procedure done at 12 weeks. It's a second trimester procedure. And I just want us to be as humane as we can be. If we can't stop the procedure, at least we can give some relief to the poor unborn child. And a lot of people don't know this too, but some of the Democrats actually you know, passed this bill as well. Yes, I had a lot of crossover support. People don't want to be or don't want to feel like something is cruel and, mm -hmm. and unusual punishment for anything. I mean, if you look at social media, the, this cutting off of a dog's ears and nose mm -hmm. seems to raise a lot more anger than the fact that we know that live, unborn children are being pulled apart in a mother's room. It's just a very sad thing. Like I said, I know I can't stop it. People have to deal with their own hearts. Mm -hmm. But at least I could try and make it as less painful as I possibly could for an unborn child. And how is your heart right now? My heart right now is, is joyful. Quentin, God was on the floor with us. I could feel him. Um, my, my heart breaks for the people that spoke against it and some of the things that they said. Mm -hmm. Um, I, and I understand where some of them are coming from. I know that there's been tragedies in their lives and things have happened to make them feel the way they do. I just would pray as each one got up and spoke that God would change their hearts, would soften their hearts to the reality of what we are dealing here with is young, very young children who are just not born into mm -hmm. the world yet. Um, let me turn to the gas tax debate. You said this on Facebook, I have no words after posting a Post and Courier article on Facebook quote, renegade South Carolina state senators kill effort to bring gas tax bill up for debate. Um, it's been a couple of days since you posted that article yeah, on, on Facebook. 
Any words right now in your mind? Um, it, do something, you know. Um, I don't like the bill that came out of the House, I voted against it. I want reform. Right. What I want to make sure is that we're going to have to raise taxes. There's no doubt about that somewhere along. I don't know if it's 10 cents. I don't know if it's 12 cents. Mm. It may only be 6 or 8 cents. Mm. But what I do want to know is whatever we decide to raise the gas taxes, that the money that we're taking from these working class people who drive to work and go to the store and sure. take their kids to games, right. that their money is being spent properly. And I don't get the feeling that that's going to happen. I don't get the feeling that there is enough oversight or reform in these bills to make sure that the money that we are giving them is going to be used for the stated purpose of the gas tax increase. Right. Um, I don't feel like the oversight and the commissions that they, I'm not a commission fan. Mm -hmm. I, I, I keep saying here is one secretary of DOT right. with nine bosses. Nobody can work yeah. under those circumstances. <laughs> Uh, and I'd like to see the position report directly to the governor. Mm. Then there's one boss. There's a clear line of accountability. Right. Nobody can point fingers at other people and you know say, well, I couldn't get this done because of so-and-so. Right. It would be between the governor and the secretary. And, and if we have a good secretary now. I think that she will do a good job. Secretary mm. Hall is right. fantastic. But she's not going to be the secretary of DOT forever. Somebody down the line is going to take her job at the next administration, sure. whatever happens. We need to make sure that down the line, that that goes past Secretary Hall into secretaries in the future so mm -hmm. that money is properly spent for the stated purpose of why we're raising their taxes in the first place. And it's not a lot. It's about $80 a year. Okay. I think the Senate wanted to give a an income tax rebate to taxpayers to offset the increase in the gas tax. The House didn't want to do that, mm -hmm. but the Senate does. And of course, we're going to go to a conference committee, right. so we'll, I don't know what's coming out. But when they do things like this, where they pull procedures that just stop everything in its tracks, mm -hmm. we can't even get to the point of talking about what's the best thing for this country. Wow. And it was stunning to me that they would pull this legislative trick right. to stop everything dead in its tracks and I just I just don't know what to say I still don't know what to say uh -huh. we need to get this done uh -huh. you know people on average are saying people are spending about $1,200 a year fixing their cars right. from our bad roads so I think in exchange $80 and that would be after the whole five-year period sure. is really not a lot of money I mean the first year will be like 17 or 18 dollar increase and up into the year 50 when it's up to the full 10 cents in the house it'll be like $80 per vehicle a year mm -hmm. increase in tax gas taxes um, people don't want to increase taxes I never do um, but if they've got to do it because they have no other choice I want that to make sure that the money is spent properly and for the stated purpose of raising the tax fill in the blanks for me soft kind of drug offenders could have records erased under a bill is um, it's confusing. I think that, you know, young people make mistakes. Sure. And I think they should be given a ch second chance. I think everybody deserves a second chance. Um, if you're a repeat offender, that's a whole nother different thing. But if you are, we have a drug epidemic in this country. And throwing them in jail is not going to fix the drug epidemic. Helping them getting them off these drugs and back to being healthy and whole is what's going to help them in the long run. Mm. David Beasley to head the UN Food Agency is a... Surprise! I mean, I like David Beasley yes. a lot. He's a nice guy. I think he'll do a good job. I think um, we've elected or selected, appointed several good people that can do the job they've been assigned to do and I think he'll do a great job. He is always He's been a world traveler. He's been around involved in right. things and helping people. I think he'll do a wonderful job. Awesome. South Carolina House passes bill requiring moped drivers to carry licenses and face traffic enforcement was a... Good idea. Um, a moped drivers, anybody can be a moped driver. Um, and you will have them, and most of them, I'm so, so sad to say, are usually moped drivers because they've lost their driver's license. So they're out there sometimes intoxicated on their mopeds. Um, and there's been a lot of moped accidents. So we need to look at something that corrects the situation. And, and at least having a license 
at least being registered or sure. something will help with that process. I think we took out insurance. They have no insurance. So if a driver has insurance, they'll probably be covered because the insurance would be too expensive. We, mm -hmm. we weren't trying to make this something they couldn't afford to do because we understood the reason why most people were, and some people like to ride mopeds. They're, I've ridden one, they're yeah. cool to ride around yeah. it. Yes. Um, but there has to be some accountability for when something goes wrong. Uh, there has to be some responsibility for when something goes wrong. And maybe this will help a little bit. The South Carolina House voted to fire Public Safety Chief Smith was? A good idea, another good idea. Um, morale and SLED is terrible. Um, the officers are, we're losing more officers than we can hire. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, and they're afraid to speak up for fear of their jobs. But um, we need to get that under control. Okay. We need to get good SLED officers and we need to fill those slots. There, There's a lot of empty slots right now. People come and they won't stay because the atmosphere is one that feels intimidating is not welcoming, is not encouraging, doesn't stand by its own police officers. So we just need to do something to try to fix that. Action delayed on the South Carolina medical marijuana bill is? Sad. I support the medical marijuana bill because it's a medical process that we're, it's not, we're not selling marijuana on the streets right. to anybody. We're selling it, we're not, we're, we're giving it to because you can't prescribe it because it's a federal thing but we're allowing people who are very ill whom this may help cancer patients is one where I've heard many doctors say that it would be helpful with nausea and mm -hmm. appetite right. if patients could have access to this so I think it's a good idea I think we should continue to fight for it okay. I hope it passes um, and, and it's going to be a, a strange process for us because we haven't been in this Mm -hmm. business before, okay. but I think it's good for sick people. Okay. And we prescribe things that are worse than marijuana to some of these people. So let's help them relieve some of this pain and suffering. Okay. So let's fast forward to, say, the first, second week in June. Okay. Write the headline for me. The South Carolina House of Representatives for this season will be... Hopefully. <laughs> they fixed the roads bill okay. problem. They fixed the... Um, they have fixed the pension problem, started to, that, that's a good thing. And um, they passed a fairly good budget this mm. year. Um, it was tighter than usual because of the pension problem. Sure. But it, it's, it'll work, it'll work. And I hope that we also get a good accountability, Education Accountability Act okay. out of the house so that we can help these schools in areas that aren't performing well do a better job. Mm. Well, Representative Lynn Bennett, thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate this. Thank you for having me again. I appreciate it. Anytime. And I'll see you Wednesday. You will. <laughs>